Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher. One more time, praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in the Messiah of Christ, the Messiah, the Messiah, the Messiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God a higher. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Isaiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth, all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yashiah the Christ. And to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for. Without spot, wrinkle, or blemish, I greet you all in his glorious name, Messiah the Christ. All right. You can skip this bit, brothers and sisters, and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick in a white circle. That is me. Anybody else pretending to be me, brothers and sisters, a wicked, dirty demon, you need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of Ahaya. If I don't say the sinner's prayer, look in the description box or the pinned comment section, all right, for the sinner's prayer, because we want you into, as I said, we want you into the kingdom of glory, all right. We are not, we aren't near yet, but <laughs> thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment sections and communicating with brothers and sisters. Really, really appreciate it. Hallelujah to the Lamb. And um, thank you for those of you beautiful beloveds who have subscribed to the channel. If you're new to the channel, we welcome you here. All right. We pray that this channel will be the home for you, for the prophetic, where we will grow and learn together in the most higher. All right. Um, thank you for those of you beautiful beloveds in the most higher who have blessed me through PayPal, really, from the depths of my heart. I thank you so very much. I appreciate it. And also, I have a little GoFundMe. Please check it out in the description box. All right. We are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Yesaya the Christ, but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty Antichrist. Brothers and sisters, please understand Daniel 7 verse 25 is truth. Satan through the Antichrist will seek to change times, laws, and seasons. It will be given, to, given unto him. Yesaya says, pray to be found worthy. I believe he's talking about the woman in Revelation 12 with the 12 stars on her head. The woman flees into the wilderness with the 12 stars on her head. The actual woman represents the Hebrew Yeshelai tribe and the stars on her head represent the seed of Jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery, hurt, harm, dispersed, scattered through the four corners of the earth. The Mosta Hahaya is going to regather that remnant. Many people say, Sister Karian, the regathering has already happened. In 1948, God went down into Europe and told the Europeans to go back to their homeland, Israel. Well, that is not true because if you search history just as though you know we say that Africans are from Africa Europeans by the very nature is from the Caucasus mountain that is why they're called Caucasians brothers and sisters so you know this notion that God went into Europe and told Europeans to go back to their own land it's not true it's not them. They're not the true original people of the book. They're not the true Hebrew Yeshahelites, brothers and sisters. And the most died. That's who the woman in Revelation represents. The Hebrew Yeshahelites fleeing into the wilderness because the second exodus is going to happen. The great worldwide second exodus, just like Moses' first exodus, it is going to happen. Many people don't believe, but it's the truth. After the second exodus, then the sixth seal opened up. That is the beautiful, glorious Messiah, Yesiah the Christ, comes in the clouds of glory with all power and majesty to give every man according to what their works have been on this earth in their lifetime. All right. Um, uh, we have a prophetic, so prophetic theme banner is called We Are Near. Prophetic theme song is called We Are Near. And the song goes like this. How near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near you are, oh near. Hallelujah! Yes, we are near. 
And we can sing that song with right confidence. I have two ministries, brothers and sisters. One for the entire prophetic and one for the what? That's right. The Hebrew Yasha Helites. All right. Type that in Google and you see the interaction totally different from trooping of the colors. Mm. The kid could not care less. It was all. And the media told you. It's supposed to be trooping of the colors and you know king charles birth birthday what birthday his birthday was overshadowed because it was all the media make sure that everybody know it was all about kate the kate but the thing about it is that it's, it's all about her in the natural but also all about her in the spiritual because like i say when you see the body language when you see when you look through everything it's it's the thing was supping up the energy of the people, brothers and sisters. Like I said, it was like, uh, you know, it was the first time she's ever seen the crowd. Of course, because it's a, it's a reptile. So to see that is like, and the, and the accolade that's coming her way and the shouting and all of that towards the cave. That is how the enemy works. That's how Satan works. He gets energy. Six months. But I'm not going to talk about that because I've done a video on the 16th of June, 2024 concerning the butter out after six months or within six months. And we got 666 in the video that I did. Um, sixth month, then the 15th day, which is one plus five, six on the sixth day, the Saturday. All right. Or some people say 24, 2024, 2 plus 4 is 6. So in a way you get it, you get 666. That's a mark of the beast really and truly. So everything that they do is, is absolutely, they do it by numbers and it's satanic. But I am telling you, I fell for those children. No connection. Those, those kids, I'm telling you. And when you look at the big boy, because I was observing him on the balcony, he was spaced out. That little kid, and you go back and watch a video, that little boy was, I don't know if he was angry or, it, it, it's just not right, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you. But whatever it is, whatever it is, those three kids were absolutely, absolutely distant from the kid. And I think because they know deep in their heart that that is not their mom. They know. Yes, the thing looks like the original Kate, of course. Because when you shape shift, you're going to take out the persona as much as possible. But you're an entity, you're not real. When you, you screenshot them photographs and you look at the face... And the eyes, the eyes are just soulless, brothers and sisters. Nothing there. I've been warning, brothers and sisters, about the deception. This is to do with deception. And if they can pull this over you and you go about your own business, just, you know, it's just one of those things then. Because Satan does test run. Dirty devil. That's who he is. Dirty Lucifer. Right? He does test run and he tests the people. You think that Satan is just going to come one day and just say, oh, here you go, deception. No. He tests people. Big, massive deception. And if the world can believe this, that's it. But you have to, you know, you got to use discernment. You got to, don't follow the masses. And you see when the mean deer comes out, all the mean deer comes out and they begun to um, propel the Kate and said, oh, she's back, she's this, she's that, or oh, beautiful, or oh, this, or oh, that, what a view. All I see, brothers and sisters, through the spirit is a lizard. I, and I know that sounds like, oh my God, but that is what I see through the spirit. I'm telling you. The video that I'm going to do after this, I'm going to do the vision after this when i do the vision after this brothers and sisters you will understand what i'm saying ahaya cannot lie ahaya never lies the original kate is i'm telling you 
the original one brothers and sisters oh boy yeah they know they know they know exactly what they've done they know exactly what they've done brothers and sisters these people are just uh, yeah beyond evil to be fair beyond evil it's time that people expose them absolutely absolutely time that people expose them and you know the, like i say ahaya has given me this mandate to warn the church this is for the church this is not necessarily for the world because the world won't really listen all right but when it comes to deception and the church we have to expose the works of darkness so that the church don't fall into deception so that you can, and that is the reason why, you know, <laughs> that is the reason why Revelation 12, when the Bible says that Ahaya hides the woman from the face of the serpent. Why is that? Why is it that the Most High hides the woman from the face of the serpent, which is the Antichrist? Yes, because if, if he doesn't do that, then the woman will expose everything, which is a, which is the, the real Hebrew Yeshahelite, aka the true church of the Most High. Absolutely expose the Antichrist, for we, and he's not going to want that. So the Most High, because if that begins to happen, you know, he's just going to walk around killing all Christians and stuff like that, which is going to happen in a way. But, you know, um, the Most High hides the woman. Because the woman knows who the Antichrist is. We know. So we're saying, all right, it's like this. Okay, let me, let me, I don't really want to mention this because this video is really about the children, right? The, the RF kids, right? Kate and, and William kids. That's what the video is about and the distance, the distance and the distraction that's going on. But let me put this in perspective so that you understand. Michelle Obama, all right, the video's not about her, but I want to use her as an example. Use, it's not her, but, you know, use uh, Michelle as, a, as an example. When you look at Michelle Obama, the whole entire world, except a handful of us, we know that, that, <laughs> we know that Michelle is Michael. But in the natural, when you look at Michelle, you can't go and tell anybody that it's not a woman. Because they're just not going to believe. Why? Because walks like one, operates like one, dress like one, talks like one. Attributes. Well trained. Well trained. But those of us who are fully awake, we know the truth of who Michelle is, that she is, that Michelle is basically Michael. Now, it's the same thing with the Kate. You look at the Kate and you think, oh, no, 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 she looks exactly, exactly like the or But those of us who have spiritual eyes know that, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, total different. That's that's the level that we're that's the level of deception that we're working with, brothers and sisters. That is the level of deception that we are working with. You know how many people get upset when you like when you mention Michelle and said, Oh, that's my call. It's like, no, 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 you're wrong. It's a you know, it's a full blown woman. No, absolutely not. And you might say, yeah, well, we've seen photographs when she was a little girl. Photos can Photoshop and put in a frame. Photographs can be Photoshopped and put in. Show me all their pictures when she was pregnant. Then you can talk to me. There's not one picture when she's have a belly, pregnant, have a belly. Not one. And if there is now, it's Photoshopped. Because people are talking about it. <laughs> Well, there's no photograph of her being pregnant like that. 
So we know the truth and we know who she is. So this is what I'm saying. It's the height of deception that we're living in. You have to open your eyes and understand the times and the season that we're living in. Those children tell the story. Kids cannot lie, brothers and sisters. Children are one of the most honest little beings on this earth. I'm telling you, especially at a young age, they do not lie. And I'm telling you, the body language of those kids was given. I don't know who this woman is. <laughs> See? Do you understand? That is the body language. I don't know who the kid is. That's what the kids were, were, were saying. You can tell. Like I said, and I mentioned it before, she stroked the hair of the little girl. And she went on her tippy toes it went, and her face changed. Like I said, normally, mummy's stroking the little daughter's ear in love. That little girl or little boy, whatsoever, would turn around big, massive, smiling. She cringed. The little girl cringed and went on her tippy toes. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, this thing is real. People have to wake up. Deception is real. I mean, if you can't decipher through deception right now, are you waiting until when the Antichrist comes and tells everybody that he's the Messiah? Because that delusion is going to be 50 million times stronger than what you're seeing right now in the RF. 50, 50 million times stronger. And when that strongness comes, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're going to fall for the deception and believe that the Antichrist is indeed Messiah. So this is a test run that the church is going up, going through. You have to wake up. You have to have your own mindset. Don't be following people just because people are believing this and believe. Have your own mindset. You know, when I when I saw yesterday the Kate coming out and and everybody, oh, you see all those conspiracy theories. There you go. We have the princess back out, up and running, alive. Everything is unky dory. Everything is all so wonderful. Those conspiracy theorists who said that she was dead, they need to come out and apologize. Really. We're not shaken. I wasn't shaken. I didn't look and say, oh my days, oh no, oh no. I've done so many videos on the Kate. Uh, telling brothers and sisters that, that the original Kate is no more. And there you go. She's up and down walking. Up and, no. I did my videos yesterday and I told brothers and sisters that. That's the, the, <laughs> like I was being, the Kate that's parading about. I'm telling you and I'm calling you. That's a reptilian. Whether you believe it or not, it's up to you. That is not the original. That. That. People said, oh, somebody's got a face mask on. Or shape-shifting shape -shifting is real. Shape-shifting is real. And they can take on the body of people. I don't know how the clone... I do know, actually. But um, in terms of the cloning, my, my thing with cloning is fallen angels taking on human form that people that you know yes sometimes fallen angel it just really really depends sometimes the fallen angel can possess human being that's a bad one is that really and truly like or sometimes you know they can sacrifice a person kill the person you know kill them off or unalive them and then the fallen angel shape shift and pretend to be the original person so you have it two ways so with the original kate yeah but them children them children are not lying brother their body language is not lying that photograph i wish I should have swiped it and showed it to you. But that photo of little Lewis and his little face, it was almost, it was in the carriage and his face was to the window and is is you know, almost, almost as if I'm scared. Like, it's horrible. 
You have to see it for yourself, brothers and sisters. You know, yes, there are minutes and there's moments when it seems that they're interacting with the Kate. But for the most part, brothers and sisters, not so. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with Ahaya. Just like Enoch of the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most that higher who lives above the heavens. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon someday in glory. In your size, holy name, amen. Amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. The Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Messiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. 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 Blessings. Amen.